in season a nature show 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 <laughs> On this day, in the boreal forest, something very special is about to take place. It's mid-May, and the water temperature of this northern Ontario river has just reached 12 degrees Celsius. This is key, and the conditions are now just right for this annual sturgeon spawn. My name is Dan Kidwak creator of In Season Studios, and this prehistoric river dance is something that I have been attempting to capture for some time now. The lake sturgeon lives exclusively in freshwater lakes and rivers with soft bottom of mud, sand, and gravel. Sturgeon are primarily bottom feeders and consume mostly anything they can find. Since it has no teeth, the lake sturgeon feeds by sucking up its prey and swallowing it whole. Its snout serves as an effective tool to prod the soft river bottom looking for food that is pinpointed with the four sensitive barbells in front of its mouth. Unlike other fish found in Ontario, it has a skeleton made up of cartilage instead of bone. There are more than one distinct population in Ontario, and this particular group is native to the Moose River Basin. Although once abundant in the Great Lakes, the sturgeon population eventually fell victim to overfishing. Sturgeon eggs are also considered as a delicacy. Fortunately, as a result for strict catch and release policies for recreational fishing in Ontario, lake sturgeon are currently making a comeback south of the watershed. When traditionally harvested by the First Nations people, the fish was used for meat while the soft spinal cord could be interlaced to make snowshoe webbing. Although they prefer deep water during the hot summer months, in early spring, after the ice has gone, the lake sturgeon begins their journey upstream to their spawning grounds. Incredibly, some adults travel up to 400 kilometers to reach their destination. The lake sturgeon is one of the longest lived and slowest to mature freshwater species. Whereas the male begins to participate in the spawn between the ages of 6 to 12 years, the female do not reach sexual maturity until they are 14 to 23 years of age. Although the numbers vary, individual adults spawn only once every 5 to 7 years. On average, male sturgeon live for 55 years, whereas the female has a lifespan of 80 to 150 years. The female grows much larger than the male and can weigh up to 250 pounds. This beautiful species has ancient origins and this annual event has been taking place for over 200 million years now.
for the spawn to take place, the habitat and conditions have to be just right. Shallow, fast, flowing water is preferred and traditionally, spawning beds are most often located between waterfalls, rapids, or dams. The sturgeon's behavior is triggered by the temperature of the water, and big rocks and gaps in the river's bed help to trap the eggs amidst the swift spring current. As the water reaches 9 degrees Celsius, the male starts arriving just below the spawning site, where he anxiously waits for the water temperature to climb. When the water temperature hits 10 degrees Celsius, the male starts to swim up to the spawning site, and then back downstream. They then continue this cycle until the water climbs to 11 degrees Celsius. Then when the water temperature reaches between 11 and 12 degrees Celsius, the female arrives and begins to make their rounds, carefully studying the spawning area. The timing of the spawn varies slightly each and every year, as the prehistoric dance occurs in key locations along the river and lakes of the Moose River Basin. As the female positions herself to release the precious eggs, the male begins aggressively jockeying for position, assuring that maximum amount of eggs are fertilized. This behavior will continue until the female is out of eggs and can continue for days until the water temperature climbs over 13 degrees Celsius. There are approximately four males for every female and a mature female lake sturgeon may lay approximately two to three million eggs during a single spawning season. Although the rivers of Northern Ontario boast a healthy sturgeon population, and this species is not endangered, lake sturgeon do have a special status, since local populations need to be monitored, and there is a good chance this fish may become endangered if steps are not taken to address factors threatening it. Currently, anglers must practice catch and release, although the sturgeon is a very durable species it is always critical to handle any fish with extreme care and use proper release techniques when handling them. If you like what you've seen, please remember to hit that thumbs up button for the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave any comments below. My name is Dan Kidwack and you're watching In Season Studios. Thank you and take care.